Uh, hello, good day guys. So uh, today, uh, on this video, I'm going to teach you how to um, create and assign um, MFA permission to a user using a permission set. So this is uh, one of the requirements um, this coming uh, February 1 because definitely all the organization will, um, will be enforced with the MFA login to all the users um, in uh, Salesforce. So let's get started. So here, here currently um, what I'm uh, showing you right now on the screen is the uh, article uh, which we can follow so um, to enable the uh, MFA login uh, using permission set. So this is very simple. Okay, so um, first it was asked to go to the uh, setup and then go to the permission set and uh, create new permission set. And then uh, we will go into use uh, Salesforce license type and then click save. And then once the uh, permission set is created, we will go to the system permission and then click edit and then put a checkbox on the checkbox under multi-factor authentication for user log uh, interface logins put a check mark on that and then hit save then click done and then once it's created you may assign the permission set to a user you decide to use those mfa but definitely this will gonna uh, implemented um or enforced this february 1 2022 okay so i'm going to show you my organization so here's my org so on the article it was says that you need to go to setup so let's get started so let's click setup all right so once we're in the setup let's search for permission set So while you're on the page, click on the new button. So you can name it whatever you want. So I mean I will name it as MFA enabled. So it will auto populate the API name. So it was asked to use the Salesforce license. So what I'm going to use here is Salesforce license, okay? And then once it's done, so no checkbox needed in the session activated required. So just leave it at, uh, leave it, at, uh, leave it as unchecked, and then save it. Okay, so it was already been used. So let's replace that one because I just created this one before. So let's replace it as MFA user. And let's use that one and then let's save it looks like that I'm not able to uh, you know uh, clear out the recycle bin so it's still detected as existing okay so let's proceed so once it's created so I have here the permission set and then I will go to system permissions then hit edit Scroll down to the letter M. So start multi factor authentication in user interface. Okay. So let's double check. Login. Okay. So let's go into, I'm going to use this one. So once it's done, I'm going to save it.
Alright, so let's try to edit that again. So I think I just uh, um, put a check mark on the different one. So instead of that one, I'm going to search for interface login. This one. So disregard the other trackpads that I use. So uh, don't forget to um, use this multi factor authentication for user interface logins. So this is the one that is talking about in the article. So multi factor authentication user logins permission. So let's hit save. And then hit done or hit save again. Okay, so once it's done, I'm going to assign this one to an end user. Okay, so even not an end user, you can assign it as well. So even a system admin can use this one. So my user that is active here is the this one, MFA test. So I'm going to assign that, like assign button, put a check mark, and then hit done. All right, so uh, it's already done. So we have the question is, do we have, um, you know, do we meet the MFA requirement for this uh, user? So the answer is yes. So uh, first, we need to check if the MFA was already set on the user. So I'm going to log in as the MFA test user here. So I will log out. So let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to log out. So let's say I'm going to use my username as the MFA user. I will log in now. So this is what it looks like. So it will ask for a ver verification code. And then I'm going to check on the verification code on my phone. First to log in first. Let's check. So the verification is nine. Okay, so I'm going to type it in. All right. So there's another verification. So since we have signed that permission set, this screen will shows up on that user. Okay. So all you need to do is says that the first step will be down. Uh, you should download the Salesforce Authenticator app or mobile app from the App Store or the Google Play. Install it in your mobile. So currently, I'm not able to show it here in my mobile, but I'm uh, using um, uh, emulator that will shows up here. But I'm not sure if it will show. But let's see. So here I have downloaded an emulator app. So I'm going to add an account. Right. So currently it says that the um, the two word price is apparent cash. So I'm going to put the uh, two word price here. So so um, also just follow the uh, word. So there's no capital letter. Hit connect. All right, so it asks to check our mobile. So let's get back to the uh, the, uh, emulator. Okay. So once it's asked for uh, you to connect, just click the connect button on your mobile phone. So this will be the mobile phone. So I hit connect. All right. So we have successfully added the account on the Authenticator app or the Salesforce Authenticator app. All right, so successfully we able to to get in. So with the two-factor authenticator or the multi-factor authenticator.
So um, we need to verify it again. So let's try to log out and what it looks and let's see what it looks like. So let's try to log out. All right, so I'm going to enter the username and the password. Okay, let's log in. Then it will prompt a message that you need to uh, click approve or accept on the mobile phone. So here it pops up as a notification. So I'll just click approve and then let's see what happens. Okay, we're getting in. Uh, we're in right now. Getting in. Okay. So this is optional for the user. So, but you can enable that or ask your system admin or uh, you may ask our support or Salesforce support it, what is the best way or if we uh, if you required if or if, if it if it's required to use um, lightning login to your work so this is optional so I'll just put that remind me later okay and now we're in okay so that's the uh, way that we uh, um, enable an MFA using a permission set okay all right, so um, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for another video which I will create for, uh, uh, you know, enabling the uh, MFA in a profile. So definitely that is only for custom profile and end up not applicable with the standard profile because definitely we're not able to change a standard profile itself. So that's built in or work as design structure in Salesforce. So again, thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned um, and have a good day. Bye for now.